what are the best minimalist toys for kids? This is a question that I get asked by you guys so, so much. What's up fam and welcome back. My name is Marissa and today I am sharing with you the only 10 toys that you need for young kids. And I'm sharing this information with the confidence that comes with three expert levels of qualification. First, as a speech language pathologist. I hold a master's degree in speech language pathology and I always joke that I'm like the MacGyver of toys because I can look at a toy and I can immediately tell you 10 different ways at least to play with that toy. My second qualification is as a minimalist. We've been on this minimalism journey for over five years now and when we started we had a lot of stuff and we didn't work so hard to declutter all of those toys and sell off all of that stuff so that we could clutter up our home again. So as a minimalist, I know all about how to help you implement the less is more philosophy in choosing toys and going for quality over quantity. And my third qualification is as a mom. I am the mom of two very active young boys. They love to run, they love to play, and they still love toys. And over the years, I've seen what they play with and what they don't and what really contributes a lot of value and fun to our lives and the toys that they just forget about after a day or two. So that's why today I'm putting all of that experience together into this list of the 10 best minimalist toys for you. And by the way, if any of the stuff that I've mentioned up till now sounds good, I would love it if you would give that like button a little tap and maybe consider going down and hitting the little red subscribe button and ringing the bell to turn on all notifications to join our minimalist family because we would love to have you around again soon. All right, I know you're excited to hear about the toy ideas, so let's dive in. Best minimalist toy ideas for kids. Remember, I'm gonna give you broad categories of toys here, and then you can pick and choose items that fit your home and your child's age and interests. And if you feel like you need more help with this, I also have a blog post that I will link down in the description box below for you with 37 awesome non-toy ideas that fit into these categories. But don't for a second think that the toys have to be brand new or fancy. A lot of these things can be purchased secondhand or even made at home. The first item on this list is character toys. Character toys like dolls and stuffed animals allow your child to practice social interactions by acting out real life scenes, like having a tea party for your dollies or playing peekaboo with your bear. And they help children also learn to care for themselves and how to care for others. And you'll find that kids are often projecting their own feelings onto their dolls or their stuffed animals. Like when they're upset, their dolly is also crying. So it helps them learn more about their own emotions, as well as develop empathy and work through their feelings. She really likes to He likes to eat bugs in a box. Yes. Nice that's, for him. That's why he bugs because he thinks that's, that's a plant. Oh, wow. But playing together with stuffed animals and other character toys also helps them develop important concepts and reach developmental milestones, such as the idea of object permanence, which is the idea that if I hide my koala in a box, he still exists, he's just hiding. And they learn about prepositions as they move their friends up, down, over, under, inside, outside, and there's so much more that they can learn from their character toys, along with having a cute friend that they can nurture that gives good cuddles. The next toy on this list is building toys. Building toys like blocks and Legos are good for boosting creativity, improving spatial concepts and problem solving, as well as developing gross and fine motor skills. And if you don't know what I mean, gross motor skills are the kind of big movements that you need to do things like walking or cartwheeling, and fine motor skills are those delicate little coordinations that you need to do something like place a block exactly in the right place on a tower so that it doesn't fall down. And those kinds of skills are important for developing further school age appropriate skills like writing with a pencil. You might need to experiment to find what kind of building toys your child likes best. Like when I was a kid, I loved building cities out of waffle blocks, but I found that my kids personally prefer Kapla blocks and then also Legos. And please get something that's size appropriate for your child. You don't want to give very small children who are a choking hazard Legos yet. 
And don't forget, you can also use these building toys for more than just building. Like you can work on teaching your children colors by having them sort Legos by color, or using Kepler blocks to do things like counting or teach math concepts or to form the letters of the alphabet. And there's so many possibilities that can be explored with building toys. Number three, arts and crafts. Creativity is in our blood. Just look how far back early humans started smearing crude drawings of animals on their cave walls. Arts and crafts help with teaching literacy and math concepts, learning colors and developing motor skills. And they also give kids a sense of pride and accomplishment that comes with creating something on their own. Not only do we keep normal arts and crafts supplies like papers, crayon, scissors, and colored pencils in our homes to make arts and crafts projects, but my sons also love a boogie board that we've had for like six years now. And it's great because my sons can draw and erase over and over and over on the boogie board without creating a lot of paper clutter. And it's good for traveling as well. By the way, I totally forgot to say that if I mention anything in this list, I will make sure to link it down in the description box below for you to check out because I know that the things that I'm talking about in here are things that have lasted us for years and years and years. Number four, movement toys. Movement allows children to express themselves and it helps them release energy through play. There are many indoor and outdoor toys that are good for getting your kids moving. Popular movement toys include things like ride-on toys, climbing toys, bicycles and balance bikes, scooters and swings. And when we had a smaller home and it was winter, we had something that was called a gorilla gym. And what it did is there's an attachment that went into your door frame and then you could hook things like triangles to hang from or ropes to climb or a swing to swing on. And that way my kids could play inside and be active by using the swings, even when it was too cold to go outside to the playground. But even pulling off the couch cushions to let your kids play on it and pretend like it's a mountain is a great movement activity for kids. There are so many ways that you can create movement toys just with stuff you have laying around your home. Speaking of which, number five on this list is forts and castles. Kids love to build things. And while building small structures with building blocks is a lot of fun, building big structures that they can hide inside is usually even more fun. And forts and castles can be anything as easy as grabbing some extra sheets from your home and throwing them on top of the dining room table. There are also forts that kids can build with sticks and balls, and there's even inflatable air forts that are super duper cool. Because we used to make air forts using the floor vents on our home, but we no longer have that option because we don't have air conditioning. So for people who also don't have floor vents in their home like we don't, these kinds of inflatable air forts can be a really fun solution, and it's great for the summer when it's really hot. The next item on this list is vehicles. Children love to play with vehicles, from cars to trains to boats, and playing with vehicles is exciting for kids because it puts them in the driver's seat. So instead of riding around in the car with boring old mom, they get to zoom around on their own with their fast cars and trucks. Some of our favorite vehicles are the standard Hot Wheels cars and trucks, but we also have a lot of Thomas trains, and while my kids weren't big fans of the railroads, they like to let the Thomas train engines race around the room freely without any tracks to hold them back. And if you pick water safe toys, you can also take them into the bathtub with you rather than having bath specific toys. I will say, please do not take motorized toys to the sand park. That was a big mistake on our park that had ruined one of our Thomas trains previously. Number seven is sensory toys. Sensory toys are toys that stimulate your child's five senses, which include sight, sound, smell, touch, and taste. It's fun for kids to experience a toy that gives an exciting new sensation or a heightened experience. And you can make your own DIY sensory bins with fillers like rice or dried beans or cooked noodles and add in other small toys for extra interest into the mix. And other sensory ideas for toys include sensory bottles, Play-Doh or kinetic sand, or simply blowing bubbles together. And another of our personal favorites is light up animals. A lot of people don't consider that light is a really fun sensory toy in the dark. Glow in the dark things, light up animals, 
My sons have a light up penguin and a light up bunny, and they love to carry them around even during the daytime. And then at night, their glow up animals help them feel safe and comfortable when they're sleeping. And when they get up and it's dark in the early morning winters, they'll bring them out to light up the room and cuddle up in their covers and have their light up creatures with them. The next item on this list is games and puzzles. Games are a great way to pass time indoors and teach all sorts of new concepts like increasing vocabulary, helping focus and concentration, and improving problem solving, but it also helps kids learn important skills like how to take turns and how to be a good winner and how to be a good loser even. Some of our favorite games include a memory game souvenir that I bought when my oldest son was a baby and we lived in Shanghai, China. But we also love Connect Four, Pokemon, Zoom, Zook Um Zook, which in English is called Ticket to Ride. And this year, all of us learned how to play chess together. And just the other day, my little six-year-old beat me at chess. How cool is that? Number nine, balls and sport toys. Balls and other sporting toys are a great way to get kids moving. And my kids are super active and it takes a lot to burn off their energy. From the time they were small, they already loved to roll balls and chase them around. And now we're up to the point where we can play basketball or dodgeball together as a family. And exploring sports together as a family and seeing what you enjoy is a fun way to not only help your kids develop better balance, strength, and coordination, but it also strengthens your bonds together as a family. Number 10, books. Books are great for kids in so many ways and encouraging an early love of reading can help boost your child's intelligence as well as assist them in developing critical thinking skills and improving focus and concentration. What does a ghost say? And not only that, it's been shown that reading can also increase emotional intelligence and empathy. We are avid readers in this family, and some of my kids' favorite books include Elephant and Piggy, Dr. Seuss, Richard Scarry, and comic books like Hilo and Donald Duck. We also have books in multiple languages because we are a multicultural minimalist family. And even if you don't speak more than one language, that's totally okay. But I do encourage you to try to give your children books that help them learn about and explore information about other cultures from all around the world. If you're not sure where to get started with that, the library is a great place to start. And sometimes they'll even have story times and the librarians there usually have great recommendations to give about almost any topic that you could ever want. I hope you enjoyed this list of the 10 best minimalist toys to give to young kids. And remember, don't focus too much on what a toy looks like, but on how much fun and value it provides your child. And if you want to see more information on how to declutter or organize kids' toys or what my kids have in their minimalist bedroom, make sure to go check out one of these videos and I'll see you again next week. Until then, take care, bye-bye.